Yeah, and that must have been quite a huge culture clash then, I'm assuming, uh, moving from a tiny place to the biggest place. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you what, speaking of memories a moment ago, my, I've got a really clear memory of my first day when my mum dropped me off at university. So she dropped me off at the campus at Goldsmiths, which is where, uh, where I was studying. And I had about a half walk from New Cross down Deptford Market on a Saturday afternoon to my halls, which were just near Greenwich, kind of between Deptford and Greenwich. And um, I fa- I, I've got a really clear memory of making that walk and getting into my halls and sitting in my room and just thinking, what on earth is this? Just the whole, the whole scene was just completely overwhelming and I had no kind of category for it whatsoever. Um, so, uh, but I guess the thing, the thing that my parents' church going had instilled in me was that I just assumed or just thought that on Sunday morning you go to church. So no matter what kind of shape you're in, no matter what kind of Saturday night you've had, on Sunday morning, you get out of bed and you go to church. And that's kind of what I did when I first arrived at university. And I ended up going to some churches that were just completely, uh, I had no experience of whatsoever. So I went to the first Sunday, I went to a very, very, very high church um you know kind of incense everywhere and you know robes and choirs and the the whole thing and it was just the nearest church that needed to my halls i I just thought this this doesn't feel quite right but okay whatever um and gradually as i began to make some friends uh at at goldsmiths who were involved in other churches they kind of took me along to some of the some of the places that they went to which is yeah interesting you know they were kind of the full range of um kind of fairly i suppose the, the lab, labels are always hard aren't they but the label would be fairly kind of conservative anglican church so some who went to a, a local um uh kind of not ha- not house church but basically a kind of net, network mm-hmm. independent uh independent church that was not far away from a house church and very kind of charismatic and at that end of the spectrum so i guess gradually over three years i I came to settle in the Anglican church that quite a few other people went to. Mainly that's probably because it felt like it was closest to what I knew. Mm-hmm. Um, even though in some very significant ways, it was quite different. Okay. And, and, and you mentioned you went to Vicar School. Where, where did you go to Vicar School? That was, uh, that was in Oxford. So a place called Wycliffe Hall, um, okay. which is kind of a, a private hall, part of Oxford University. Okay. And what was that like? Good? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was good. Um, it was, help- it was helpful in all sorts of ways. It wasn't what I expected. It, it, it did me lots of good. That was, that was, I think the most helpful thing that someone said to me before I went was wherever you go to, you know, to, to kind of, cause there are a number of options when you, when you're, um, when you go for training, a number of different colleges you can go to. Someone said to me really helpfully, um, go to somewhere that's going to help you love Jesus more at the end than at the start. And that, I think that was good advice. And, and Wycliffe did that. So that was, um, that was, that was good. So tell me, um, tell me more about your Gloucestershire parish. Is that your first job? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So after, uh, after, uh, Bible college, I was a curate for years at in Gloucestershire so that was with seven very small villages out in rural Gloucestershire and the reason I ended up there was because uh, when I was at, um, at Wycliffe Hall I spent some time on a placement out with the vicar working alongside him for a number of months just to see what he was up to and uh, at the time that I was coming towards the end of my time at college and beginning to look for a job they were looking for a curate and he said to me We'd love you to come and uh, to come and be our curate, and I couldn't really think of a good reason to say it other than, well, it's not in London, which didn't seem like a, a really compelling reason. Um, I think, in particular, I just I had lots of admiration really for the way that he was trying to um, he was really trying to bring uh, new life and focus and energy into a ministry which i think for a long time had just been quite dormant in some villages that were quite used to church being a nice thing that you do on a sunday but not a great deal more 
and he was quite committed to trying to change that. And uh, I thought I couldn't do this forever, but I could do this for three years. Yeah. And 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 am I right? And then it was Grace Church, is that right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. And you've been at Grace Church for what three years, something like that. Uh, yeah, just over yeah three and a half years. Yeah, three and a half years. Okay. And what's that been like? What have you What have you learned from your time there? Oh, I've I've learned all sorts from Grace Church. Um, I I it was. Uh, I mean, we loved being part of the community uh, at Grace Church. It was a, a real joy, and I think one of the one of the factors um, about when it came to the time to think about what might be next, one of the factors about being here at St Barnabas was the knowledge that there are lots of connections between the congregations, and um, so some of the relationships will, although they'll be different, they'll kind of carry on um, in, in all sorts of ways. Um, I think I, for a long time, I think I had wanted to, uh, I mean, I've, I've known Andrew kind of prior to going away to college, which is the first time that I was in London, uh, and I'd known about Grace Church, um, had lots of friends there from the kind of early days, um, so people like the Ailings, who were part of the original planting uh, team, were kind of good friends, um, and I, I thought that I, I'd it would be really helpful to spend a few years, if that was all it was going to be, um, working in a context which had uh, an emphasis on the arts and uh, on um, the kind of the, the value of, of kind of culture, I suppose. Um, and that was that was one of the things that just uh, I, I found really interesting and really helpful. So, what does it mean to um, communicate the gospel with to people who are in the in the worlds of the arts in particular and i suppose who are also increasingly part of that new hackney demographic of having arrived in hackney kind of fairly recently and having the sorts of cultural commitments that people have if, when, if they're in that category i think grace church was is contextualized very much for people who are in who are, who are like that and it was really helpful and interesting for me to see what it might look like to be spending time with people like that.